Hello there, and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today is called from 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Again, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Now, I want to divide the scripture into two parts. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, what, what, what do we understand by this? For do we walk in the flesh speaks about our natural state, speaks about our physical state. So we walk in the flesh. Um, we, we, our walk with God is in the flesh. When we walk from point A to point B is in the flesh. When we, we do anything is in the flesh. When we eat is in the flesh. When we sleep is in the flesh. When we think is in the flesh. When we meditate is in the flesh. So he said, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh. So for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. So he says, we do not walk after the flesh. What what does we do not walk after the flesh? Right? I, I presume we understand what we mean by do we walk in the flesh? But do do not walk after the flesh. It speaks it says that um the the key things of the spiritual realm says that the, the spiritual realm governs the physical. And therefore every war we 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 fight is always in the realm of the spirit. The major wars, the major fights, everything we experience is always in the realm of the spirit. And therefore, the wars are in the spirit realm and which body faced onto the flesh. So says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. So everything that happens is in the realm of the spirit. The wars that happen, the, the, the fights are usually spiritual and the results are manifested in the physical. Now I want to thank you for listening and I want to say, um, God bless. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen.